Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we've just come back from taking a short break to uh, play a little power wash simulator and soothingly clean off a vintage car. <laughs> so now we have to get back to the watery problem. I don't intend to float here in limbo forever. I have an idea for today. I have to take a look at the case board to figure this out. I'm sorry? Oh, and the crossbow is still fucky on my shoulder. Board anyway. An email exchange about FBC and researchers about the nursery rhymes. Uh, who are the? What are these? Who made them? The emails indicate the FBC is authoring these rhymes, but why? Rhyme found in a mobile home in downtown Watery. A rhyme about a girl who fell for the wrong guy. Why is it always the girl who gets cheated on? Still not clarified. I'm going to try something stupid. Uh, yeah, okay. If I load the manual game... Well, I still have that problem with the crossbow. Because the only saves before that, given that there are only three goddamn slots, are, uh, hours before that. I'll work the next steps out on the case board. Nope. Fuck. Well, maybe I'll get very lucky. And things will work themselves out. And I know that sounds stupid, but consider that, uh, that Saga was wearing a different jacket in the first level. Or the first, you know, the first chapter, at, at any rate. The FBI jacket. She could be, uh... I don't know, maybe I'll get to a spot where it'll reload the, uh... Yeah, that's definitely fucked up. The shotgun seems fine, the strap going over the shoulder the right way. Not the, uh, the, the crossbow, but I'm just saying, maybe it'll fix itself when I get a different outfit or something? I don't know. I'm just making sure there's no, uh... I don't know. I'm just wondering to myself why I can even walk out there. Okay. Have a nice evening. You too. So here's my idea. I've been given a checklist, essentially, of uh, the puzzle locations. Shout out to Elthwar for providing this. I uh, left a comment saying, Short speculation as to why the trailer park is so dangerous. This is where Saga is supposed to be from, according to Return and the local residents, so it would make sense that this would be a place where the Dark Presence is particularly concentrated around spaces where it is most actively transforming the world around it. If you want to help avoid spoilers, I could check for potential locations of the puzzles to see if that helps. Edit lo included the locations I found in the next comment in case that would be helpful, and here we go. Puzzle locations I found. One north of downtown Watery, which reminds me, I, that's not the button I meant to push, but I'm standing right next to the map wall, so fuck it, I'll just check that. So I guess up here. I think I got that one. Let's see. The radio tower. 
the lighthouse. Oh, no, it's over here. The trailer park dock. Latte Lagoon. Ranger cabin. Downtown watery. And the lighthouse trailer park. Did I find a second one in the trailer park? I don't remember. Okay, my original plan was to go to each of these places, starting with the one up here. Just basically revisit them in a big ring. And if I didn't find anything to... And I was going to do most of that off-camera, for the record. Even fighting dudes if they popped up. Because if I didn't find anything, I was just going to load the game back here, save my health and ammo, and just go get in the fucking car. But now I want to kind of check out the trailer park again before I do that, because... Oh, was it a lock? That was a... It was just a combination of two icons on top of each other. Is it this one here? Am I capable of getting the bolt cutters right now? I didn't... I'd assumed I wasn't. I assume that would be over here somewhere. Are we lost in here? Oh, and uh, also adds, uh, Elthwar does, apparently a lot of people have had trouble with this, and it seems like there is a possible bug in relation to it that keeps it from being marked as completed, and that does make me feel a bit better. But, uh... Is it all of them? No, there's one more. Okay. Fuck it, then. Okay, first, no, let's just, let's just check the one that's here off, okay? You know, while we're doing this. bypass this door that does not exist for the one that does. Whoops, I can't go around that side. This mailbox is stuffed to the brim with envelopes. Whoever uh, rented this place, presumably the FBC, has not been around in a while. Two in the trailer park, two in the woods. Two in the woods... Pretty sure I found something around here. Maybe down there. Maybe up. Uh, I, I, that's right, one of them was up here in this dead end area, wasn't it? But I can confirm at the very least, you know, walk up to the thing and everything. Wait. Uh, no, no, for a moment I thought it only made those noises if I hadn't done the thing yet, but no, no. I cannot interact with this, this one is done. Okay. I wonder if there's another way into the second level of the Suomi Hall. It is pretty goddamn dark in there. Where does that doorway go? It's a dead end of the bathroom in it. Fair. Alright. But enough faffing about. Yeah, that seems to be kind of a theme in this game. Doors of stuff that just happens to be stacked up in front of them. I suppose it goes without saying in this particular story, but, uh... Can't help but notice that the lighthouse isn't actually on. Oh, 
I guess they put it up during the day, huh? You know, I was doing some editing over the uh, last couple of days. You know, the, 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 the power wash videos. And I came to the conclusion that... Uh, well, I was surprised by how much more you can get from the audio in these games than in that game. In this one, I'm walking through the woods and you can hear Saga breathing. The, sound of, the distinctive sound of footsteps on forest material. You know grass, tra twigs, leaves. You know, if I use guns, you can hear the operation of the guns, you tell when she reloads, tell when she fires. You can hear the Taken stumbling out of the woods, muttering to themselves. That's yeah, still stabbing me in the side. that on. It isn't just a matter of jumping down from a hill, is it? Behind the fence. No, no, it's way ahead. Oh, Right, yes. This is not Skyrim. I cannot just walk off the path. God forbid that I jump down seven feet. I'll quick save while I'm here in case I actually die. that door open. I don't remember this one. Uh, is this the fishing house? No, this is the house where I saw that ad. full of uh, wholesome letters and such. I mean, I'd be hearing the crazy noises by this point anyway. I wonder if it'll let me walk under that or if I have to go around. Nope, nope, nope. You can only duck under stuff if it's the only path. See any gaps or any ways over or anything? Motherfucker. It is here! I heard it just for a second there. I thought this was coming from over there. I don't know, there's another trailer in between me and the dock.
can't be opened on this side. Are you sure? Because I do have a sawed-off shotgun pointing at the lock. Accursed fates! Doesn't seem to matter how many times I select it, I can't use the screwdriver on this. Hmm. Alright. I'm just gonna check the dock. And I see by this uh, dark matter that yes, I've already done this. But I need to check. This whole time I just assumed I wasn't good enough, but... Maybe it really isn't my fault. Okay. I don't know how many Taken are going to be involved, but, uh... I can tell you this. don't need to fight you. Okay. So, like I said, I'm just going to rush through the other areas and, uh... Well, check to see if I can, uh... find anything at those spots. Wish me luck, Burning Dog fans. Lighthouse. Check. In case you were curious, admission fees to Coffee World are $15 for kids, $25 for adults, $10 for senior citizens, and you can apparently join the Coffee World Club for additional benefits. Latte Lagoon. Check. Ranger Cabin. Check. Radio Tower. Check. North of Watery. Check. Right where I thought it was. Okay. As I said, I'm going to load the game. And we're just going to go to the car. As far as I can tell, the only thing left is, uh, the thing I thought I heard in the trailer park, in the locked trailer. But, uh... I'm like 99% sure I can't have the bolt cutters yet, so I don't think that's part of the one for this chapter. My lozenge wrapper says, uh... Get through it. I'm missing something. Need to look at the case board. Deja vu all over again. Poorly! That's how it's going, lady. Thanks for asking. Uh, I guess I will look at the case board. Third time's the charm. You know the really funny thing? I've been wanting to, uh, to do this Let's Play for a decade now. I connected really hard with, uh, well, a lot of the first game, because I write. You know, it really felt like it was coming from someone who got it, because, of course, it was written by writers. You know, the unique torment that comes from writer's block in that there's literally nothing actually stopping you from working. There's just... nothing there to work with. You know, 
can absolutely understand how, uh, after having years of success, it would drive someone like Alan Wake to be uh, <laughs> drug struggling, uh, snap anger, asshole. Curse you, back of building. I really don't want anyone getting in there. Ah, oh, well, fuck it. Say la vie. Audio is really bad this time. Just uh, painted lines on the road, Justin. That's all we're looking at. The Elderwood Palace Lodge, where history meets hospitality. Alan Wake. <laughs> My name comes up, your books come up, you come up. I've read them. There are echoes of my life in there that makes me feel like someone's been watching me. Creepy. Oh, shit! Bunch of cultists with shotguns what approaching. What to Alan Wake? The unanswered mystery. Never expected to find you alive. Oh, my head's killing me. Come on, not Casey. Not again. Not for real. I think you like using people, Wake. Taking their lives and twisting them into your stories. And when someone gets hurt, it's kick-ass material for the next one. Shit! Spilled my coffee. <clears throat> Take it you're not a fan, then. Agent Casey. This is not your playground. And I'm not your fucking creation. It doesn't work that way. You can't make something out of nothing, even in the dark place where the rules hardly apply. It's very complicated to make fiction come true. I saw visions of what's happening. What will happen? Dreams. I tried to use them in my writing. I understand how dangerous it is now even with a paralyzing amount of planning. I think I stopped writing. I think I gave up. But there's a manuscript. Maybe I forgot not to write. The dark place makes you forget. just want to fix this. Find a version of the story that fixes everything. Shut up! Get down! That was a gunshot. FBI! We want the rider! No one else needs to get hurt! Fuck off! Turn four, no chance. And Alan is heavily splattered with blood. Jesus Christ. He's been 
soaking in a puddle of it, Justin. Oh, what the fuck? There are scraps of flesh hanging from the antlers of the deer. And I hate that. It's fucking here? Oh, I'm Alan now. I had escaped the dark place. So had the dark presence. Scratch. He was here, in Bright Falls. I could feel him as a growing pressure in my head. Stronger by the minute. Why didn't he kill me with the rest? What did he want? Bunch of dead cultists around blood everywhere. I gotta get out of here. Except on the, uh, the, the, the case wall for some reason. Oh, no, no, there's a little bitty splatters of blood on the case wall, like someone was shot while standing in front of it. Great. Fan-fucking-tastic. Oh, and they wrecked the radio. Uh... I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake 2 when we... I have absolutely no idea what's about to happen, but it's gonna happen. So hold on to your butts, wish me luck, and stay in the light.